How do you Goats get... give milk. They do, but how do you get milk out of an animal? You just squeeze it. Do... Yeah. Yeah. They're udders. They're udders. <laughs> do you mean the udders? <laughs> South Wales. Dubai. In association with Gifters. Your halal family friendly restaurant. <laughs> And this little dude, Adam, has to read Dr. And Salim Lessery. And Mr. Sleepy. Hey, I was pausing. Okay, Mr. Sleepy, what's your oh, name? Abdurrahman is joining us. Sleepy. Now, yes, coming to you, Adam, actually. Remember the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was with Abu Bakr al Siddiq, and they were traveling from. And Saraka Abu Malik. Yeah, but he didn't travel with them, he just saw them and then went back. He came to Mecca, Medina many years later. Adam, when you're in a desert, in what do you sleep in? Where do people live in? Inside what? What do they live inside? Do you know? When people go camping, what do you live inside? A tent. A tent. Very good. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he passed by a lady or some tents, and he stopped and he said, "Can we buy some food?" Now, the old lady's name was Umm Ma'bad. Everybody say Umm Ma'bad. Umm Ma'bad. And she said, "I, I do don't." Say the... Mm. Actually, nothing. She said, I don't have any food at home, but my husband's gone out to look for some food. Now, before we continue, Abdurrahman, I want you to act out an animal. Okay, see who can get it at home. Can you act out this animal? Yeah. Okay, go on. An it's an animal. What animal is Abdurrahman acting out? He's a donkey. Not a donkey. Uh, Abdurrahman, that's the wrong animal. <laughs> not a donkey. Yeah. It's not, I don't want you to act a donkey. Come and let me. Horn. Horn. An animal with horns. <laughs> Not a rhino. Oh, <laughs> no. What do you think the word is? <laughs> that, uh, Billy goat. A Billy goat gruff, which is a goat. A goat. <laughs> Very good. Adam got it right. Well done. <laughs> so Umm Ma'bad, all she had, she had an old goat, a little goat there, and she said that this goat is too old to give milk. We can't get any milk from it. Abdullah, how do you Goats get... Goats give milk. They do, but how do you get milk out of an animal? You squeeze them. You squeeze their udders. Their udders? <laughs> do you mean the udders? <laughs> you squeeze their udders. So the Prophet wasallam, he went to the animal, and you never guess what happened. He squeezed this udder, and it came out like milk. And I never knew goats had udders. So, well... So much milk came out of the animal, and it was a miracle from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And what do you think Umm Ma'bad did when she saw that? She cried. She became Muslim. She became Muslim. Good, because she saw the miracle. She said the Shahada. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. So now you're Muslim again for the second time this year. Third. <laughs> Third time. Okay, let's go competition time, everybody. We're at home with the Azaris. Everybody watching at home, I want you to open up your workbooks. Go past the code breaker page, past the sticker page, and past the reward chart until you reach the last page for this particular episode. What you will see there is competition time. I'm going to ask a question, and in your workbooks, you'll find two possible answers. I want you to circle what you think is the correct answer as fast as you can. And let's have a competition to see if you at home can beat the Azaris here. You get two points for every correct answer. Question number one, everybody, for competition time. The tooth of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was broken in which battle? Was it number one, the Battle of Badr, or number two, the Battle of Uhud? Okay, Abdurrahman said number two. Add. You said number two. Abdullah, are you copying the crowd or are you going to think yourself? Quickly, one or two. Actually, I did number one. Number one? one? All right, Mariam said one. Adam said two. Number one. Okay, so you both said two, said num you said number one. Yeah. And you two, they said number two. Yeah. The correct answer is number two, the oh, Battle of Uhud. I meant number 
the youngsters got it Adam right. Number one. Abdurrahman and Adam got the correct answer, mashallah. So they move up the leaderboard. Question number two. The Prophet Muhammad was born on a Monday or a Saturday? If you think Monday, write number one. If you think Saturday, write number two. Are you okay, guys? What did you do? What are you going to write now? Number two. Number, uh, Abdul Rahman said number two for Saturday. Two for Saturday. One for Monday. One for Monday, one for Monday. Correct answer is number one. The Prophet ﷺ was born on a Monday. <laughs> so now it's equal. Okay, let's see who get the last deciding question then. Mariam and Abdullah got the correct answer. MashaAllah. So they move up the leaderboard. Question number three. What is the shortest surah in the Quran? Is it number one, surah ikhlas? Or number two, Kouter, surah kawthar? Kouter, dad, kawthar. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, number two, number two, number two, number two, and number two. Correct answer, number two. Well done, so it's a tie. It's a tie. Okay. Well done. Everyone got the correct answer, mashallah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. So Abu Bakr and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They went to a cave. Oh, they got to a cave. Good. And before they got to they, they before they got the to Medina, Hira. hold on, hold on. The Not the cave Hira. Let me explain to everybody. They went to the cave Hira. No, Hira. they didn't. Let me explain to everybody. They carried on walking in the desert on their way to where? Medina. Medina. And they stopped in a cave. But Mariam. No, it wasn't cave Hira. Thaw. Cave Thaw. Cave But Mariam, how long were they in the cave of Thaw for? How many nights? <laughs> Don't forget your Azhari Raptor from the Azharis.com. I think three. Three, because excellent. Remember that the Prophet got so bit by a scorpion. Close. Yes, Who knows the story me. about what happened? Abdurrahman. Okay, let's ask Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman, oh, you said no. the story. Fell in the, 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 went in the cave, yeah. and then they, then Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam went to sleep. Good. And then yes. Abu Bakr put plus on all of the holes except for one and one bit. The scorpion bit Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr okay. in the ear. Not in the ear, but it bit him on the foot. <laughs> yeah, like okay. the That's not the foot. But okay, carry on, tell everybody him. So then what happened? Uh, uh, he didn't want to disturb the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He didn't, so wake, he him didn't up. wake him up. So what we learned from this is that Abu Bakr didn't disturb the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, so Adam, if your parents are sleeping, your daddy's sleeping, we should you disturb them? them? Adam, should we disturb them and wake them up? Yes. No. Yes. yes. Should we should. You, <laughs> should you let your daddy sleep? No, yeah. no, we should. No, no, no. You didn't let us sleep. No. So why, we, no, no, why should no, we no, let no, you sleep? Yes, but Abdullah, the reason I do that is to get you up for school. So it's yeah. for your own good. In you fact, get me up early in you get us up way too early. You should be there. paying me I get to school for getting you up half an hour early. And alhamdulillah. Wait, in the cold, in the playground. Say, Alhamdulillah, you're for not late. Half an hour. So, alhamdulillah, you're not late. Everybody at home, isn't it better to be early than late? No! Yeah. Yes. You should have been standing in the cold for half an hour. No one stands in the cold. I stand in the cold for half an hour. That's by choice, because you choose not to go inside, because you want to be cool. <laughs> so the Quraysh, they started looking for the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu for Abu Bakr. They followed them and they were outside the cave. Now, Abdurrahman. Yeah. Abu Bakr said if they were just to look down, because they were inside the cave, if they were to look down, they would find us. Did they look down, Abdul Rahman? Make sure you click like before you go on. No. Yes. They didn't look down, no. Allah made it so they couldn't find them in they the cave. Light. Allah yeah. made light from the sun coming to the cave. No, that's Surah Al-Kahf. That's not his Surah. No, you're getting confused. That's Surah Al-Kahf. In this Surah, what, in this uh, story, what happened is the Quraysh were on top of the cave. If they had just looked down at their feet, they would have seen Abu Bakr and the Prophet 
but they didn't look down. Allah saved the, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Abu Bakr because Allah made them not look down. Yes, Adam. Oh, so. So what you look? The, that's okay. We'll get the total as a redactor in a minute. Yes. But what we learn from this is that if we're good and we're good Muslims, then Allah will protect us even from people that want to. Kill us. Maybe not kill us, but harm us. Okay. All right, everyone say Islam at the end of the episode. Bye Islam like Click subscribe and bell. Click like. Don't forget your workbooks and your Azhari dinosaurs. From the Azhari.com. We'll see you soon, inshallah.